Hey friends, remember that the complete recipe will be linked in the description box below for my five cup something cookies. We are gonna start with the base recipe here, which is brown sugar, granulated sugar, and shortening. We're gonna cream these together until smooth and creamy. These cookies are a recipe that my sister has used for years and shared with me this year, and I think they are fabulous. Make sure to always scrape down the sides if you're using a stand mixer, which I'm sure all of you know, but just in case. We're going to add two eggs. And we're going to make sure those are well incorporated again. In goes our vanilla. I never measure vanilla. I mean, I do, but I don't. I mean, I should, but I don't. There goes our baking soda. Our salt. And finally, our flour. Make sure once you add the flour that you just mix until it is incorporated. You don't want to overmix your flour. Now here comes the part where you pick five things that you would like to add. I suppose that you could do two cups of something and two cups of something and one cup of something, but the recipe says five cups of something else. The list is endless, the options are endless that you could do with this. And in the blog post that is linked below, you will just see some suggestions. I used oatmeal, peanut butter, peanut butter chips, cocoa crispies, and coconut. It was fabulous. It was very heavy on the peanut butter, which we love at our house, but I can't wait to do these again with maybe chocolate chips and cherry chips and just play around. The coconut you could not taste, but the texture in the cookie was amazing. So yes, I think that it would be good to use like golden graham cereal, some mallow bits, some chocolate chips. You get where I'm going, you're picking up what I'm throwing down here, kids. The world is your sandwich. You make it like you like it. So here I just am getting them on the cookie sheet. The recipe says to drop them by teaspoons, but you know when you do that and you got to like touch the teaspoons together, it is really more than like my misophonia can take. So I always use a cookie scoop. You do you, boo. I am topping some of mine, some of them, with sprinkles to fight the brown cookie syndrome, which if you've been with me a while, you know the brown cookie tray syndrome is a real thing. So this is it. I'm just getting these baked and you're gonna bake them at 350 for nine to 10 minutes. I would go nine minutes. You're gonna take them out and you're gonna think that they may not be done you're gonna think, mm, these are too soft to be done. They're not. Let them sit for about five to 10 minutes until they're fairly cooled, and they're going to be the perfect, chewy, mmm, goodness of a cookie that you've had in a while. Look at, you can tell I'm getting in a hurry. I'm trying to squish more on them. As I go. I hope that you enjoy these. I think that these would be a super fabulous recipe for the end of your baking um, adventure because you could just use up all of the leftovers and the bits and pieces of what's left and it would be just amazing. 
I hope that you're enjoying getting ready for your holidays with your friends and your family and that you are blessed and healthy and happy. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget the most important thing is to eat good food. Bye, guys.